Welcome back to a new episode of Porsche Top 5. Today's episode is dedicated to a very special Porsche, the legendary and incomparable 935-78, better known by its nickname, Moby Dick. But we'll also have a look at the reinterpretation of 2018. So let's start with the elephant in the room, or rather, the whale. Top 5, the long tail. In motorsports, performance and weight reduction are at least as necessary as the best possible airflow. The engineers of the original 935-78 Moby Dick made use of all the freedoms of the 1977 FIA regulations to take an unusual approach to this issue. Probably the most characteristic feature of this model is the long tail. Among other things, it got the nickname Moby Dick from its mechanics because of its huge dimensions. So it's no wonder that the 2018 small batch series of the 935 also bears this nickname. Another common feature of both models is the rear wing. Of course, the technical progress becomes evident at first glance, but the wing can only be adjusted manually as in the old days. But enough about the rear end. Let's take a look at the front. Our top four, the flat nose. Both race cars have visually not much in common with their conventional base models. The nose of the 935-78 is extended further forward and has a large opening for the oil and intercooler. This makes it much larger than other 935 models. The 2018 935 has a classic flat nose. The round headlights were exchanged for four LED strips. The air intakes are also larger than on the basic model. But enough about optics and aerodynamics. Let's get to some loud facts. Our top three, sound. Big flames, the whistling of two turbos, and an excellent acoustic image. This is probably the best way to describe the brute sound backdrop of Moby Dick with its supercharged and air-cooled boxer engine. How does the model from 2018 sound in comparison? It's best if we listen for ourselves. Let's start the engines. Let's have a look at what lies behind this beautiful sound. The engine. The flat six of the Moby Dick was supposed to be water-cooled, but due to regulations, the cylinders had to be air-cooled, as in its 911 turbo base. All in all, the 3.2-liter Boxer engine was a true powerhouse. The technology of the club race car is based on the 911 GT2 RS. This also includes the engine, which is mostly identical to the high-performance production car. For our top one, we take a look into the past and show why Moby Dick became a legend. With world-famous racing driver Jackie Ix at the wheel, the 935-78 qualified for pole position for the Silverstone six hours. In this race on 14th of May 1978, Moby Dick delivered its first and only race victory. The 24 hours of Le Mans just a month later was somewhat of a different story. Qualifying started well with third place on the grid, three seconds behind the Porsche 936 prototype in pole position. Unfortunately, the 935-78 had some difficulties and wasn't able to win this race. To date, Moby Dick remains one of the most famous race cars with one of the funniest nicknames. Speaking of which, we prepared a special episode for you. Be sure to keep Moby Dick in mind. Stay safe.